Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to go out to Canada. We haven't had an update in the Great White North for a couple weeks. So I want to talk about the star of the show, the name on the marquee, Marty Robert, the Hell's Angel superpower from Canada, him and uh, Nergat Stadnik right now, according to my sources uh, in the federal government, as well as in uh, 81 Nation that... uh, Maybe for the first time in history, the seat of power for all of Hell's Angels nation goes through Canada right now. And Nergat and Marty Robert are kind of the, you know, the top of the mountain when it comes to Hell's Angels around the world. 60 different chapters, or sorry, 600 different chapters, 60 different countries. Um, It is a true empire. And we're giving everybody the latest. And, um, most in-depth coverage of Marty Robert, who's, you know, could argue is the most powerful alleged crime lord uh, on the North American continent right now. And he's got a lot of swagger and he's redefining what it means to be a biker boss. Uh, I don't think a lot of people have ever referred to biker bosses as suave, but Marty Robert is without question a suave, sophisticated, business-oriented, very ambitious, very set in his vision type of biker godfather and uh, is mixing a lot of different elements of successful crime lords, politicians, war generals from history and kind of putting them into, into, into a, a cauldron and, and um, creating this new Hell's Angels uh, persona that, that, it's hard to think that you could elevate the Hell's Angels any more. Uh, they're already so iconic, but Marty is is making a, a serious go at it, and it seems to be at least doing it in Canada, where uh, all the power now in the underworld sits with him and the Hell's Angels. So we know he's fighting his multiple wars. He's got the war against the Rizzuto mob. He's got the war against the Blood Family Mafia. We reported last... Um, Back in the early summer that he spent his spring, a lot of his spring uh, was spent in Miami and was kind of skippering the war efforts from the United States. Now I'm here to tell you that the reason that there has been such quiet on the Marty Robert front throughout the summer is because Marty Robert wasn't in North America, uh, wasn't in Canada wasn't in the U.S., wasn't in Mexico. He was globetrotting and uh, doing Hell's Angels business, from what I can understand, uh, in the Middle East. He was in Dubai, I'm told. Uh, In South America, he stopped by Colombia. And also throughout Europe, uh, Russia, Berlin, Spain, Paris. I'm told that uh, he, he met his wife in Paris in July. Uh, and, and did a family vacation in the midst of his Hell's Angels business. And um, it doesn't get any bigger than Marty Robert. And and he's got, like I said, 600 chapters that it looks like he is in one way, shape, or form um, in charge of. And uh, it, just, it just makes you realize that this is, this is like James Bond shit. Um, this isn't sons of anarchy shit um, where guys like Marty, guys like Tommy O um, and even Conan the Barbarian with the pagans, Tommy O with the outlaws. Uh, Tommy O is international. Like, like Marty is uh, Conan the Barbarian is just national, but it's, it's the same, you know, their visions are very similar, even though they have con- you know competing interests. Um, they are, they do things at a, um, much more serious, much more diversified, much wider scope and scale. Um, you know, when Tommy O from the, from the outlaws, when he got arrested last year and they looked at his passport, he he was doing the same thing just for the outlaws, not for the hell's angels. So, and then I'm going to finish up by talking about something we, we found out in a, a recent court filing. So we had reported uh, back in the spring that Marty Robert and Bobby Scopa 
were on a vacation together, according to RCMP and, and SQ, uh, went to Columbia together in January of 2019. This is right around the time things started to fall apart between the Rizzuto mob and the Hells Angels. Sources, uh, informants in the government, sources telling me that one of the moves that Marty Robert has successfully pulled off over the last handful of years is removing his Rizzuto contacts, re removing his Rizzuto contacts in the Hells Angels narcotic empire and replacing them with uh, Scopus. Um, and, you know, Bobby Scopa doesn't have a criminal record. He is the number one defendant right now in Operation Dead Hand, which dropped this spring um, out of L.A., but he's a, a Montreal mafioso, uh, allegedly. He is a part of the, the Calabrian, or had been a part of the, the Calabrian wing of, of the Rizzutos, which is a mainly Sicilian group. And his brothers had been leaders in the Rizzuto mob in the mid-2000s no. until a falling out. And... Uh, it appears that the Hells Angels are aligned with the Scopa, Scopa no. group in, in some capacity. No. And sorry, Chunky is uh, my bulldog is, is uh, no. wanting to say hi. There's somebody uh, walking past the, the window. So no. we'll let uh, Chunky uh, chime in here for a second. He loves Marty too. No. Uh, and I'll finish up by saying, so we knew that we no. had this alleged no. vac vacation that Bobby scopa and marty took with their families in, in no. january of 2019 and no. this was in a court filing this was uh came out in 2022 then it came out again in the spring of 24 no. and we had just heard about this trip to cartagena uh colombia which is a beach town a resort town no. No. in colombia and south america and that the informants were were telling um law enforcement that they were going there to secure a cocaine connection pipeline to no. South America. And now we find out in a new court filing related to Bobby Scopa's case that they might have taken a trip to France together as well uh, in the winter of 2019. We didn't know that. So this is, again, it looks like there was some seeds being planted for the uh, war against the Hells Angels, or sorry, the war between the Hells Angels and, and the Rizzutos way before it even kicked off. And way before Dirty Diaz was killed in March of 2019 to really, um, that was from what I understand and from what I believe, uh, that was the first chip to fall. And then it took another two, three years for, for all out war to break out. But it looks like Marty might have been five steps ahead of the game, which we know that he, he frequently is, um, and might have been moving pieces on the chessboard uh, with the Scopa, with Bobby Scopa uh in in you know in transnational fashion so uh for chunky he wanted to say uh sorry for for uh for barking but he wanted to uh, make his voice heard and uh again i'm, I'm always going to be reporting what's going on about marty robert and the hell's angels and, and the 81 in canada because they got the seat of power right now for for all of hell's uh, hell's angels nation until maybe ray ray comes back in california um we'll see about that but right now it, it all runs through quebec and ontario so uh, Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, I'm out.